Hi ladies, so um, this is my first behind the scenes of sophisticated video. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you what it's like being a business owner, boutique owner, a physical boutique owner, um, what we do behind the scenes, um, you know, to kind of like guide you. You know, I just was taught by my friend girl that, oh Jesus, sorry, I got an alert. I just was taught by my friend girl that when it comes down to entrepreneurship, there's like no big teacher that you can look up to that tell you right or wrong or how to do this. There is no blueprint in business. There's just like, there's no blueprint when it comes down to parenting. We all have different parenting styles. Okay, so let's do, um, my friend girl suggested that I get more structured in my business. So that's what I'm gonna do. I went ahead and got me a little binder. This is like, this is like the file for sophisticated. Like I keep copy of my LLC is gonna be in here. Just everything business related. My EIN, paper copy of my EIN. It's like the book of operations. Just bootleg <laughs> until I get the book. So let's get, let's get these two pages. Can't tell y'all. So I am going to do you can't really see it, but it says sophisticated schedule, and then it has the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sorry, I'm a little part, so let me pour some water in my classy glass. <laughs> but, um, so right now we're going to do content planning, and I don't know what you want to post or in your business, when you make your business, Facebook page, social media page. Um, I'm going to have specific days of the week where I post specific things. So when it comes down to my Sunday, I'm going to do self-care Sunday because I already do that in my sophisticated ladies group. So it's not easy. It's not hard for me to just take the information from the group and go ahead and post it on Instagram. So Sunday is self-care Sundays and I gave myself like three to five lines explaining what I'm going to be posting on those certain days so that I can always go back to these they're like little notes and it can jog my mind okay self-care Sunday everything self-care um, whether it's going to be like a skincare routine whether it's going to be a um whether it's going to be well, I'm in fashion, so I guess I could do something with uh, something about tailored clothing, something like self-care. I I'll know when I get there. So Monday, I'm going to do motivational Mondays because I already, like I said in my Facebook, my sophisticated ladies group on Facebook, I already do motivation, motivational Mondays. And that's why I just say happy Monday, ladies. Um, everything happens for a reason. Everyone is where they're supposed to be. Never look back because you live there. Always look forward. Like, I just always post, like, something motivational. Now, Tuesday, I was going to say Taco Tuesday. And I was going to post a picture of <laughs> a taco place. But, you know, no. We're going to make it fashion and business related. So, Tuesday, I'm thinking about doing... Um, Tuesday, I might do tops Tuesday, but I don't know because I kind of want the days of the week to coincide with sophisticated. So I'm going to get ready and go on here and look up synonyms for whatever word. Okay, sin. Synonyms for sophisticated. And then I'm going to take whatever word start with a T and I'm going to put it over there. Let me see what they got. So they got similar words to sophisticated. They got worldly, experienced, enlightened, urban, suave, polished. Y'all got nothing. 
They got refined, elegant, stylish. I can't even use none of these words. Oh, I could have did Media Savvy Monday. No, I'm going to do motivational because we need to start the week off right. You know, Sunday, we just exfoliated our skin. We scrubbed away all the dead cells and we done replenished it. We done put water in our bodies. So now, here go Monday. We did something for the outer. Let's do something for the inner. We're going to start with the mental state. Now, Tuesday, what could I do for freaking Tuesday? Okay, we just did the skin. Oh, we could do tailored Tuesdays. You know, we just did the skin, we did the mind, now we're gonna do the clothes. And I can give a tip on clothing styles for Tuesday. Let's do tailored, T-A, tailored, tailored Tuesdays. And we're gonna do clothing tip styles. Okay, Wednesday, what we're gonna do for Wednesday? Okay, now we done did the skin, we have did the mind, we have done clothes, Wednesday. We could do wild out Wednesday. <laughs> you know, throw that check Thursday and freaking Friday, but no, we're all about class sophistication. <laughs> so what we're gonna do for Wednesday, Wor worldly wise, Wednesday. Girl, like, what does that even mean, worldly wise? Okay, worldly wise means prepared by experience for life difficulties, not easily shocked or deceived. So, worldly wise is like experienced, knowledgeable, knowing. I could give a fact on fashion. Worldly wise Wednesday, where I give. Because if I was to do like a tip where, like this tweed jacket, that is like, you. everybody knows Chanel does tweed material. If I was to give a tip on worldly wide, that could fall under tailored Tuesday. <sighs> oh Lord, um, worldly wise, worldly wise Wednesday. I really want to do worldly wise. I need this used in a sentence. Okay, what does worldly wise mean? Possessing a practical or often true understanding of human affairs. I need a breakdown on that as well. So we're going to scroll down Google and click on the next drop down. Now, what's the definition of worldly? Now, how do I become more worldly wise? Gather intelligence, learn the lingo, watch exchange rates, be a smart shipper. Bookmark the SBA. They just saying anything on now on Google now. Okay, worldly wise definition and meaning. Let's go to Merriam Webster Dictionary. <sighs> saying the same stuff Google's saying. It's a, okay, used in a sentence. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I really wish y'all could comment on here and help me, but it's gonna be too late. So, worldly wise definition and meaning. Okay, here we go, y'all. Worldly wise, if you describe someone as worldly wise, you mean they are experienced and know about the practical or social aspects of life and are not easily shocked or impressed. Wise in the ways of affairs of the world, sophisticated. World, wise of the world, worldly wise. Okay understanding the world and therefore difficult to shock or deceive she's very she's very worldly wise for her age now, let me back out of that because i still don't know <laughs> okay we're just going back all the way completely out of it and just go back to picking a word for wednesday You may have already grasped the understanding. I needed. I need to be able to grasp the understanding so I can be able to make my own content because I still don't understand what Worldly Wise Wednesday is. Let's see. Let's see if Polish got a um similar word for um what a W waxed. I see Google came to play. <laughs> Cause I don't know. Let me see. Um
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's let's look on the elegant. Elegant classy, you know. So let's see. Oh, I could have did tasteful Tuesday. But well, we're gonna do tailored Tuesday. Okay, so let me see what they got for Wednesday. Where my glasses? That's on the counter, but I'll, I'll get it if I need it. They got high class, charming. We got nothing for Wednesday. You know, my teacher always taught me that when you need help to skip it and come back to it, I've been done skipped it and left it. Let me see. <laughs> I'll be posting. I'll be posting. I could do break. A <laughs> break <laughs> on Wednesday. Mm, let me see. Now we're gonna get this. We're gonna do this because I want to. I I am going to push sophisticated. I am revamping sophisticated. I am coming. I am not playing. 2020. I'm not. Oh Jesus! I'm living in the past. 2022. I'm not playing. Y'all gonna be like, oh, sophisticated post so much. Sure do. Sure do. Sure do. Next thing you know, I'll be sending stuff to your actual address. <laughs> Let me see. Worldly. Okay, so bunk worldly wise. Let's do world. Let's look and see what worldly got. Worldly is an experience. Here we go with this mess. Okay, sophistication starting with W. Okay, so sophisticated starting with W. can't you know penny don't say you can't because you you can do this you didn't achieve a lot you have overcome a lot you cannot let this right here beat you you know i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna do worldly wise i'm going to do worldly wise i'm just gonna have to i'm gonna do research on the meaning of that Okay, now Thursday. Let's see what we got for Thursday. Y'all wanna do throw that check? <laughs> they say they got trailblazing. That's sophistication. Let's see what trailblazing means. Trail. Trailblazing, introducing new ideas or methods. Innovating and peering. Okay. What does trailblazing mean? Being the first to do something. Okay, being the first to do or use something in a way that is an example for others. We can do that. Okay, we can do that. Trailblazing. And then on Thursdays, what is something new? I have to event something. Show y'all a new way on how to tie a scarf or showing a new way on... Like a how-to. Okay. We doing this, ladies. Trail blazing Thursdays. Okay, trail blazing Thursdays. Introducing new ideas. You know, I seen this binder in Walmart and thought it was so cute. And I forgot because in school, you know, them binders just be big and all in the way. And going through that now. Okay, so let's go down to Friday. On Friday, they did have futuristic, futuristic Fridays. What is futuristic? Let's see what that's all about. You know, I wanted something easy, like elegant, refined. 
Where, where the futuristic go? Let me go down there. Okay, define futuristic. Having or involving very modern technology or design. That's along the lines of trailblazing. Um, ooh, content planning could be something serious. Let me see. Sophistication starting with F. Hmm. Let's do Fashion Friday. All that noise outside of my boutique door. I'm gonna have to make another video showing y'all what the inside of my boutique looks like. Cause some of these ladies watch my videos or you know, they buy from me online and they don't even know what the boutique looks like. Like, they don't even know me. <laughs> she doesn't even go here. Sorry, it's like stuck in my head. Um, Saturday. What can we do Saturday? Fashion Friday can um along the lines of flash flash sale Friday. So I can get some of this stuff up out of this boutique. Get some new stuff in here. What can I do for Saturday? Uh-uh, suave. <laughs> Sophistication. Starting with an S. They got suave, they got stylish Friday. Dang. I'm gonna do flash. Sale Friday and Stylish Saturday. That's what we want to do. And don't um don't be afraid to have to go back and re redo stuff and like you can revamp your business as many times as you need to. Like this is your business. Like you know, just like when it comes down to parenting styles with the kids, like. If this ain't working, we're going to try something else. If that don't work, I try something else. If that don't work, we redirect. And then it just got to the point where this very recent parenting style is really, really working the very best for me. My kids are more productive now with me not yelling at them than when I was yelling and threatening and, I'm going to take your phone. No, now it's just we've had our all, we had our talk at the kitchen table and, now they're like, when I just say, hey, yeah, like yesterday, um, Trey, can you put some water bottles in the refrigerator? You don't have to do it right now. But by the time I get off from work, I would like to have a cold water bottle. Came home and five water bottles was in the, in the refrigerator. I was talking to him so calm. I talked to him like he was a person, not just my kid and I'm the ruler or the parent. Like that worked for me. So, and applying that into my business life, I revamped it before. Sophisticated wasn't always pink and gold. It was written in black and the lips was red. Um, I used to sell provocative clothing and that was not me. How can I put it? Now this is very personal. This is very, this is going to be very personable. Personable because sophisticated birthed me. Sophisticated is what I am growing every day in molding myself to be. Sophisticated is a woman of class. She is a woman that sits up right, beautiful teeth, euphonious voice. She smells pleasant. She is, you know, she's just pleasing to everyone. She's loving everyone. You know, like that is, she's a woman of class. She she walks with grace. She, her, her gowns flow, they drape nicely, like, that is the woman that I strive to be. Just classy. Um, a sophisticated woman is very is modest. You know, you will never see Michelle Obama out here wearing a sheer top exposing her, her nipples. Like, um, my brand birthed me. There are some women out here that birthed the brand. And when I mean they birthed the brand, they're like a 32-year-old. And their target audience is 16-year-olds, the, the city girls, the, the short shorts, and the crop tops. And the that is a woman that birthed her brand. But no, my, burn, my brand birthed me. Every day I strive to be sophisticated. Um, 
back then when I first started out, I used to sell like um, church clothes. And one of my friend girls was like, you need to sell something else, sell things that um, moms want to wear when they ain't, got a, they ain't got their kids. So when I started bringing that type of clothing in, I started seeing chargebacks. What a chargeback is, somebody will buy from me online, lines say they didn't get it, lines say they never placed that order. I was getting a lot of fraud, a lot of theft. I'm like, whoa, I dropped that. Cause it is so hard, like, it is so easy, I mean, to get pulled away from your vision of your business. Nobody can see sophisticated like I can see sophisticated. Your definition and my de definition of sophisticated is completely different, and that's okay. That's fine. Um, once I dumped all that stuff and I came back to the drawing board and I came back to my vision, and I'm like, you know what? No. I'm sticking to what I know and what I want when it comes down to sophistication. When it comes down to the sophisticated lifestyle, nobody is going to push my brand like I push my brand. Nobody is going to be up two in the morning talking with me about my brand like I will. Nobody's going to go hard for my brand like I will. And, you know, so I went back to the drawing board. I erased and scribbled and it got to the point, honey, I just threw that whole notebook out. And I said, out with the old, in with the new. I brought it, I ordered a new sophisticated notebook. Sophisticated, three main goals. Personal styling, um, mentorship, which is the sophisticated ladies group, where we talk about the difference between a pleated skirt and a pencil skirt. And then what sophisticated or offers. That's three different um, bubbles I did for sophisticated. I redid my logo to a nice, soft, feminine color. Pretty draws. Like, I mean, pretty will grab your attention. So I done changed to a nice, softer, feminine um, color. I went back to ordering the things that sophisticated ladies wear. My customer base is housewives, realtors, investors other business women women that work in hr women that are uh, reporters women that are um not trying to say a quality or of substance but i i cater to a different demographic of ladies and i love my ladies not saying that the women that work at taco bell not saying that those women are like the rura women though i just if they do not wear this type of style five days a week, it's very seldom I will see them in my store, if that makes sense. The type of clothing I sell are for ladies that wear this type of stuff five to six to seven days a week. So they're constantly in my store. As opposed to a woman that doesn't dress modest, but she has to dress modest because she got homecoming coming up. Or she has uh, date nights where she got to meet the parents and she wants to dress a little uppity or her best friend's graduating she's going to the graduation dinner and she wants to dress modest that's the only time i see those type of ladies in here i did convert a lady over i did she was a young girl she was like 22 years old she graduated um i think she got her associates and she's getting ready to do her bachelor's and i let her know i'm like you know you're gonna be in your program and i'm like you know girl you can't be dressing like that you know i was just joking around with her she came back in here and when i mean she got Chiffon sleeve blouse, my lightweight airy cardigan. She got one of each of my dress pants. What else did she get? She got all my, my basics that you wear underneath a cardigan. She got um, pearls. She got accessories. What else did she get? She really came in here and shopped. I don't know where she got her money from, but because she didn't work. Not trying to take no shots at her because she doesn't work. So I don't know how she got the money. Um, on her Instagram, I can't post her Instagram, but she has started changing the way she um posts on Instagram as well. She's no longer hiking that little booty up on the sink no more. She's actually she's standing up and she's actually smiling. And I told her she was she has a very beautiful smile, but she's insecure because she has a gap. And I'm like, girl, you are beautiful. You are beautiful with it. So she actually posted a picture smiling. She done bought a couple of swing dresses and maxi dresses from me. Girl, she is beautiful. She is so beautiful. She done took that red wig out her head. And she has a, um, right now she has like a black, brown, light brown ombre. 
it compliments her. It compliments her. So I think she's starting to come in here. She's starting to come in here more often. And when she comes into the mall, she don't always shop every time she comes to the mall. But when she comes in the mall, she makes sure she peeks her head in here and speaks to me. Um, hey, girl, because you might be watching this. <laughs> Using you as an example. But yeah, like it's like I said, there is um, no rules when it comes down to your business. Like, like I said, if you want to revamp every year, go right ahead. I don't know if I recommend it because every year we're gonna start getting lost in the sauce, honey. I'm gonna say, you know, honey, I used to shot water when our logo was blue, now it's red. I don't know what's going on, <laughs> you know, but that's that so right now we did the sophisticated back to what we were talking about now we're doing the sophisticated schedule i wrote down the days of the week meaning so now i'm gonna go in between and basically write a little small sentence talking about what i'm going to be talking about on those days and those contents what's today's date today's the 28th the 29th the 30th hold on January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Okay, so there's 30 days this month. That's a southern trick. If you put your hands together, it's going to tell you if the months have 31 or 30 days or less, depending on. The knuckles is 31 and the divots in is 30 days. Child, that's a southern, that's old southern talk. And go ahead and do it while I take a sip so y'all can be smiling like, oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should hear me when I be talking to my kids. When I be telling them a little certain stuff. Like uh, I was on the phone with this friend guy. We don't talk no more. Child, my, lo my love life is so brief. I ain't even saving numbers no more. I don't even care about your birthday. I don't even say, I don't even... Cause I, I know you're going to be gone in a week. But this guy, I was talking to him and I was telling him <coughs> because his um elbows and his knees were so rusty. I said, you need to go on and spray some, I mean, rub some comment. And he was like, comment. I'm like, yeah, you need to take that tub cleaner and rub your um elbows and your knees so you can get that black up off there. Right. Rusty knee. <laughs> Let me stop y'all because... He was nice to me when we was talking. He just was, you know, how they, you know how they do. If you're not moving as fast as they want you to, or you're not hiking that leg up as fast as the next woman, you got to go. And that's fine. That's fine with me, honey. <laughs> that is fine with me. I know my self worth. I'm not finna be laying down and giving my body to anybody that I'm not in a committed relationship with. Develop that mindset, lady, and it's going to cut off all the ruhas. Anybody that's not willing to wait until y'all have a committed relationship and a title set before they lay down with you, got to go. They wasn't worth it from the dough. And, you know, I'm 28 years old, and it took me 28 years to learn that, including baby years. But um, back to my schedule. So self-care Sundays. We can talk about skincare. We can talk about skin care, mental care. Motivational Monday, we're gonna build the mind. Build the mind. Tailored Tuesday, clothing tip styles. There's other stuff I wanna do with tailored as well. Ta tailored. Let's see what we can talk about. So tailored is smart fitted and well cut, cut clothing. I do know something that we could do, ladies. If you invest in a lot of high costing, high quality material, and if you're in fashion, you would know what I'm talking about. Um, as opposed to when it comes down to this sweater. Sweaters can be either acrylic which is like a fake cotton. And that's that cotton that nat ups when you wash it in a dryer and you go to stick your hand in your um, pullover and you feel all those beady beads, that's acrylic cotton, that's fake cotton. Real cotton do not ball up like that. So that's why when you be investing a lot into your um, inventory, you need to really pay attention to 
the ingredients and what makes that particular type of clothing because that stands on your brand. I swear to God, when a woman walks through that door and she touched my clothing, oh my God, it feels so soft because I invest in my material. If you want to sell dresses like I do, you need to look for um, rayon material. You need to look for um, polyester. Polyester is what gives those gowns that flowy when they walk and it's like it's uh, like a the natural wind pushes it. That gives that look. When you want a nice gown that drapes and um, if you shake it like this and it's like a water wave, that's rayon material. That's where it drapes nicely. That type of material mixed with that spandex prevents, um, only my big girls will understand this, that will prevent, when we get our back rolls, the clothing do not get caught up in our rolls because of that type of material. So if you're catering to plus size ladies, you need to look for that specific material. You're gonna look for something that has at least over 30% of spandex because those ladies, when they get that 1X, they need a moving room as well. Um, uh, when it comes down to acrylic cotton and regular cotton, like acrylic balls up, regular cotton does not. Regular cotton costs more. So if you go to that Chinese vendor and they say, oh, this shirt is only $4, and then they say it's made out of cotton, they're lying. They're lying. That's acrylic cotton. Real cotton shirts, just for a basic solid spaghetti strap, cotton shirt is like $8 that but that material is so good you can throw it in a washer you can keep that type of material for years now uh, when it comes down to taylor tuesdays if you like i said invest in a lot of high quality better quality clothing get it tailored so that it fits you mm, sorry get it so that it, it fits you so that you don't have get your pants hem so they're not dragging the ground you know um when it comes down to your dresses get your dresses altered that is a self love luxury to get your clothing tailored to you you know once you put it on that it ain't gonna the pants aren't so long that it overflaps the top portion of your heels get your clothing tailored to you ladies it ain't nothing like uh, having something that's well cut and made specifically for you. When you finally have something that is made for you, that is of your own, that is a beautiful feeling. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about, I'm a, no, don't fight me for it because I know how y'all like the tussle. I'm going to make that into my tailored Tuesday. I'm going to talk about, um, talk about tailored benefits of tailored clothing. Tip for having tailored clothing. I, um, the most expensive thing I have had tailored before was a dress and it was $108. I needed the back to be cut. I needed to be, the, the bottom needed to be, um, rise it. And I was like, mm. <laughs> but, I know anytime I put that dress on, I won't have no problem with it. It doesn't bulk up, so it doesn't show the bra strap. It's just, that's just one of the benefits of having something tailored to you and it fits to you. Worldly wise, hear that mess go. Worldly wise, worldly wise example. Not worldly wise example. How do you use worldly wise in a sentence? He was the last man in the world to act on the worldly wise. Dang. <laughs> okay, what does worldly wise mean? Here we go with that again. I ain't clicking that anymore. Experience. I guess just old wise tales, worldly wise Wednesday. I can, I, I mean, I worldly wise Wednesday. You know what? I'm going to make Worldly Wise Wednesday be a personable experience of me. I'm going to give you little life lessons, gems that I've learned. That's what I can talk about. For example, I went, I was in a situation with my ex and I'm like, 
why he keep hurting me? Why he keep hurting me? Every time I would pray to God, I would be like, God, if he's not for me, show me. And within three days, it would be a reason as to why he was not for me. I don't know why I was so dumb. <laughs> and I still was dealing with him. But you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And I ended up leaving that situation, if y'all really want to um, care about that. I ended up leaving that situation. But I think Worldly Wise Wednesday is going to be about life lessons relating to me. Okay. You know, who else? You know, would you want to get some opinion from other than the P. Meister? Sorry, I keep adjusting my wig because I undid my combs. You know, it's, I'm almost off, honey. It's 5.04. I'm, I'm actually gone. The boutique is closed. On Sundays, I'm from 12 to 5. And, you know, I can glue it down today. It was a short day. But, um, okay. We got, uh... So, yep, Wednesday is life lesson relating to me. <clears throat> Sorry, got another notification. Life lesson relating to me. Thursday, Taylor, um, trailblazing Thursday, introducing new ideas. So, I'm going to be uh, how to and then style it. So, how to style it. I'm just going to. Do like little small little reels and then do like a little video talking about it. Like I did one for my maxi skirts. My maxi skirts are versatile. I can wear it as a skirt or I can pull it up and wear it as a two top and throw a cardigan over it. That's, that's going to be my first one. <laughs> okay. And Fashion Friday. Now, what did I say? I was going to do Flash Friday. Flash Sale Friday. Flash Sale Friday. So I picked like something random in the boutique, flash sale it, get out the door, probably $20, $10, $5. I need it out the door. Um, Saturday is going to be stylish Saturday. Mm. I mean, I guess I just picked like whether I'm promoting a dress. Oh, excuse me. Whether I promote a dress or I promote a jumpsuit, a romper, promote, promote a style. I think I can dress it up with a dress, talk about the pearl accessory that I might wear with it or my earrings or something. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank y'all for watching this video about scheduling, um, Schedule planning, planning schedule. Oh, that's good, me. Girl. <laughs> that's good, me. I'm going to have to call my kids that. So, hey, I'm scared. Okay, so there we go. Sophisticated schedule. That is the behind the scenes of sophisticated. Um, I'll be making more videos. Like, I'll show y'all how I um write out barcodes, you know, just things that's not taught in business school, things that's not taught on YouTube, like how to draw people to your website or how to draw people to your store. Like people always say, oh, run ads, but if you're not running the, way, the right way, you're bringing BS. You know, if you're trying to push a pink shirt and you're running Facebook ads, this girl over here may hate pink shirts, but then you want to target this girl over here who loves pink shirts. Like, so you got to be very specific when you're running that Facebook ad channel. Um, you know, as far as me in my boutique, trying to get customers in, you know, just like those people standing in those kiosks in the middle of the mall and they're like, hey, come over here. I do the same thing. I stand outside my boutique. Hi, how are you? Come on in here. Hi, ladies. You know, just sound happy and inviting and make them want to come over like you have to have that personable um experience with a person um these people work their a off for their money and a person's not gonna just give you 250 dollars if they don't know you like unless you're jordan 
with Michael Jordan and they're buying Jordan shoes, that person is not going to give you $250 if they do not know you, if they do not feel like they want to feel that their money is going to good use, if that makes sense. Um, we'll talk. We'll talk, ladies. I'll show y'all, like, the insides, the ins and outs. Even when it comes down to working at Baylor, because when you get your own space in the mall, nobody tells you about how to work the Baylor. You know, you gotta learn that on your own. So I'm out there running from the Yellow Jackets because dumpster juice then spilled out and now Yellow Jackets are everywhere. Like, Jesus Christ, I had to get maintenance involved because it was so freaking scary. But, um, all right, ladies, like I said, I'm about to go home and work on content. My boutique is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, so my off days will be the days that I work on a week to two weeks worth of content. And I will, I'm gonna try to implicate this for December, if not January, definitely January. I told you I'm not playing in 2022. I'm not playing, I'm not playing. I made five figures this year. Can I please touch six? please <laughs> all right bye ladies y'all have a wonderful day y'all stay classy stay sophisticated stay elegant keep your head high um um remember everything happens for a reason everyone is where they're supposed to be never look back always look forward um don't force anything even if it comes down to friendship do not force anything um if a person does not pour into you like you pour into you cut them loose honey bye ladies